so the other day I was online and I saw these adorable shorts. They're like flared shorts and I had some scrap fabric so I thought I wanted to play around and see if I can recreate something similar to the pictures that I was seeing online. So I decided to use McCall 7786. So here's the process. For this project I will be using the front piece, the back piece, and the waistband piece and then this is the elastic guide so what I'm going to do is shorten the front and back piece I made a line two inches down from the crotch curve and then I drew a diagonal line up to the side seam and I did the same thing on the front and the back piece and what I'm essentially doing is just shortening the pattern I am mimicking the line that is here and I'm just bringing it up and I will cut apart these pieces. But before I do that, I am also going to cut the pattern apart down here at the bottom. So I just put the ruler down and I made a line going across from the front piece over to the back piece. And once I separate this piece from this piece, I will also cut along here and then I will get rid of this portion and then I will take this middle portion and slash and spread it so that it can be flared and then I will attach this back to this by sewing it. So I'll sew this back to this and then it will be flared when it's sewn back to the upper portion. I decided not to add pockets so what I did was I put some paper over here to fill in this side area where the pocket would normally go. Having the paper here fills in the area to mimic a full front and that way I can eliminate the pocket with no problem. Here is the lower portion that will be attached to this. This has been slashed and spread apart. And then I did the same thing on this side. I slashed and spread this, which will be attached to this back piece. Here is the muslin, and it's a very rough <laughs> muslin, but I think I like them. I just want this bottom portion to be a little bit more flared so I will go back and add some flare, more flare to the pattern, but this is the back. And these are just some scraps that I had just to make a little test. After I add a little bit more flare to the bottom portion, then I think I'll be really happy with these. I just realized that I forgot to add seam allowance to these cut edges. So before I make my next pair, I will go ahead and add seam allowance to all these areas. And like I said, I'm gonna spread this out a little bit more. So I made all the adjustments that I need to make to the pattern. And now I am on my way to the store so that I can find some fabric to use to make these shorts. Last time I made this pattern, I made it in rayon. And this time, I think I want a denim pair. Here's the denim purchased from Joanne Fabrics. This is 100% cotton. Here is the back piece spread a little bit wider and with seam allowance added. And the same over here on the front pieces. Just spread out more and added seam allowance. This is one flared front piece and one flared back piece. These pieces will be attached to the corresponding upper portion. So this is the front and this is the upper back. And I will take this and essentially pin it together like this with right sides together. So I'll flip it up and pin it and it will look something like this. And then I will stitch it. And then I'll do the same thing for the back. So what will happen is these pieces will be spread to fit and make sure that the raw edges are together. So this corner will fit there and this will spread and fit there. Flip it up and pin it with right sides together and then stitch it. 
then I will have two full front pieces. This is the back, but two full back pieces, two full front pieces, and then I can put the pattern together according to the directions in the pattern envelope. This is what I have so far. I just finished putting the crotch seam together and now I'm about to start working on the waistband, but I think I'm happy with the flare that it's giving right now. So, so far, so good. I am all done. I want to have a frayed hem on these, so the only thing I need to do now is just throw them in the washing machine and then I can put them on and show you what they look like. really really love these McCall's jeans and I want to make them up again in a solid color so I'm actually on my way to the store to see what kind of fabric I can pick up that's a solid color so that I can make these again. I'm at Joann's looking at some of the solid colors that they have in denim and I think I'm just gonna go with this natural color I think this will be cute in a pair of jeans. Yes, that'll be it. This is the And you're all set. Thank, Thank you. you. Sometimes I get in the mood and I just feel like baking something. And yesterday was one of those days. So while my fabric was in the washing machine and then in the dryer, I ended up making some brownies. So I'm in the kitchen checking them out, just seeing how much is left. But you know what else I've been thinking about is doing some top stitching because the first time I made these jeans I didn't do any top stitching I didn't add any pockets this time I want to add pockets and do some top stitching and I'm just trying to decide what color thread to use for the top stitching I could use the same color thread or I could use a different color that may stand out just a little bit so that you can see the top stitching so I don't know I don't know if I want to use like a brown or I don't know besides brown or I don't even know maybe yellow I don't know I don't know if that would be cute brown is the color I'm thinking like if I do some top stitching maybe I could do like a light beige or or maybe just stick with the same color I don't know I'll figure it out and then I'll share what I come up with I'm looking online trying to get some ideas here's a pair of pants that looks like it has some brown top stitching I like this top stitching where it kind of matches but it does kind of stick out a little bit but not as much as the brown so that's another option. Look at this one. This top stitching looks like it is actually red maybe. These are the threads that I have to choose from. And I know you can buy top stitching thread. I'm just using regular thread for my top stitching. I think I'm going to use this for the actual pants. And I'm really leaning towards using this color for the top stitching because it's not too, too dark but it's not too, too light either. So I'll put these to the side and I think these are the two that I'm gonna go with. I actually am not gonna be able to start sewing these pants for a couple days because I have some other things that I need to get done, but I wanna set up my second machine. I wanna iron my fabric and just get everything ready. That way, when it's time for me to sew, I'll be all good to go and I can just jump right in. Come in. So I bought the exact amount of fabric that the pattern called for, but somehow or another I still ran a little bit short and the only piece that I wasn't able to cut out is the back pocket piece. I cut out one but I just needed enough fabric to cut out one more piece so I ended up taking some of the scraps and I surged them together just to get a piece of fabric big enough just to cut out the pocket piece. 
I thought about going to the store again, but I was like, oh, I don't want to go to the store just for one little bitty bit of fabric just for the pocket. So one of my pockets is going to have a seam down or across it, but I'm okay with that. It might be kind of cute. Here is a close up of the top stitching and the top stitching on the side panel. So I pretty much have the front of the pants done and now I'm about to start working on the back. Here's the pocket that has the seam going across the middle and then the other pocket is just plain.